Hello, beautiful people, and thank you for tuning in once again. You guys already know why I make these videos, you know why this channel exists, you know the message. One family, one heart, one love. We're all building a society based on love, understanding, care, oneness, and cooperation. And this is the purpose of me making videos on this channel. So, in the name of love, we're going to talk about psychedelic substances. Because how can you talk about love and not bring up the topic of psychedelic? So, the point of this video is to just clear up some of the social stigma. Uh, and this is a global thing, you know? Uh, global social stigma that surrounds the use of psychedelic substances. So, of course, a lot of people, me included, before I tried psychedelics, uh, you know, they have this idea about this monster known as mushrooms or LSD uh, and how it's gonna fry your brain and it's gonna destroy you and it's gonna fuck you up and it's gonna ruin your life. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, alcohol, which is one of the leading drugs in terms of domestic violence, domestic crimes are accelerating these things, right? People do a lot of stupid shit under the influence of alcohol. And alcohol is actually on like the high end of drugs and substances that cause humans to behave in a stupid way, in ways that harm others. Meanwhile, actually LSD and mushrooms and, and other psychedelics are at the bottom of, of that list. So, what are psychedelic substances? Psychedelic substances are uh, also known as hallucin hallucinogens. They essentially, to put it in simple terms, alter the perception of the user. So you see reality in a totally different way. And they've done scans on the brains of people who are under the influence of LSD or psilocybin mushrooms and you'll see that while under the influence of those substances your brain is communicating with itself parts of your brain different parts so much faster and so much more efficiently and like your brain is is like lit up essentially the communication lines between different parts of the brain are lit up what happens when you consume a psychedelic substance uh, so Things like magic mushrooms, psilocybin mushrooms, uh, LSD, also known as acid, DMT, uh, peyote. When you consume these substances, uh, what happens, and I'll talk specifically about mushrooms and LSD, uh, is you have certain receptors in your brain. Your brain, when you consume these substances, thinks that this substance, psilocin, or LSD thinks it's serotonin because it resembles uh, the chemical equation. It resembles the molecular structure of serotonin. So your brain's thinking, oh, we're picking up some serotonin. Your serotonin receptors think, oh, we're just going on about business. You know, we're just doing our thing, you know, picking up that good old serotonin that makes you feel good and, and you know, just a well sense of being and ordinary consciousness, right? Little do these poor receptors know what they're getting themselves into? Because they're not actually picking up on serotonin, they're picking up on molecules that resemble serotonin, right? Psilocin and LSD, when they get processed through your gut, essentially, when they go to your brain, essentially they look almost identical to serotonin. So your brain doesn't know that it's not serotonin. And that's when the magic happens. You know, as soon as you, your receptors pick up, some something happens depending on the dose right that you're taking but different parts of your brain connect differently we don't know exactly why or how suddenly you look at the world in a completely different way is it is it, it, it is it's as if you were sleeping and you just woke up that is as simple as i can explain it based on my own experience you were sleeping thinking that reality is a certain way based on what the society and the belief system and the operating system, right? Because we're all operate, it's all operating systems, depending on which operating system that has been put in your mind. So for example, say you grew up in a religious environment and that's the belief system you've been put into, right? Uh, say you grew up as like a, a strict Christian or a strict Muslim or whatever, 
I'm not bashing any of this. I grew up as a strict Muslim, right? Um, but I'm saying that's just the belief system, the operating system. Say you grew up under the modern capitalistic, materialistic uh, operating system of North America. Well, that's the belief system. That's the operating system, right? Uh, they tell you how the world works. They tell you how what you should do. You should go to school, grow up, get a job. Anyway, anyway, I don't want to go on around the ring. Okay. Point is, what the psychedelic substances, psychedelic substances do is, depending on the dose, again, they will make you alter your perception of the world, making you look at the world from, depending on the dose. But if you do, if you start upping the dose, or even do therapeutic dose you'll be reborn, you know, every, like, so many people who, who go through psychedelic experience say, I feel reborn. Well, that's because your perception is totally altered, and suddenly, for the first time ever, you're looking at the world from a totally different way, you're actually seeing the world for what it is, which is a mysterious place, uh, a, a trip. You know, life is a fucking trip, guys. Every single day, that is a trippy thing. Me talking to this camera, that is a trip, all right? Me uploading this video, you somehow seeing this video of me talking about this, how trippy life is, and you now having your mind absolutely blown and my mind is absolutely blown, is a trip, okay? But ordinary states of consciousness and operating systems that are put in your head since you were a kid, well, you're basically told what the world looks like and how you should perceive the world. But really, the nature of reality is subjective. You know, it depends on which belief system, depends on how, which lenses you put on really to see the world. So essentially, those are, that's in a nutshell, what a psychedelic substance does. Once it enters your system, it will make you see the world in a different way. At high dosages of, of, of whichever substance you're using, depending on what substance, you could experience ego death which means you become one with the universe. That's what they call a mystical experience. You become one with everything. You become one with the universe. You become you, but you're the floor, and you're the speaker, and you're the phone, and you're everyone else, okay? Um, and that's what they call a mystical religious experience, okay? So, why are we so scared of psychedelics then? We're scared of psychedelics because we grew up, uh, and I'm talking about almost every culture in the world, uh, a lot of it is ego-based. And when I say ego-based, I mean like separation, right? There is separation created between you and everything else and everybody else, right? So if you've been indoctrinated into one specific religious system, unless... Uh, a dogmatic, you know, because I actually think, you know, any religion, if it's not dogmatic, it can be very helpful to the person who's um, following this religion. But I, let's call it any, if you've been indoctrinated under a dogmatic religion or a dogmatic belief system or any sort of thing that is, is dogma, it's like it creates separation, us and them. It's like, this is our religion, we're right, everybody's wrong, separation. You immediately create separation, right? Um, you know, when you say, you tell people, hey, you know, the only way to, to go on about this world is the current monetary system. We got to take resources from Earth and this is just how, I, how it goes, right? You create separation between you and Earth, right? By destroying the Earth, you're destroying yourself because you are the Earth and, and the Earth is you and we're all one. And these psychedelic substances, if taken, I will emphasize this, guys. I need to emphasize this so much. If taken in the proper set, proper setting, proper supervision, proper intent, you gotta be in a good place in your life. You gotta already have adopted some healthy lifestyle and habits in your life. It will pretty much wake you up to this truth that we're all one and uh, there's no difference between you, there's no difference between me, there's no difference between you and a bee and a tree and a grass and uh, this MP3 player and this speaker. We're all part of the same animating energy, right? Again, psychedelics because they can make you go into really bad places because I think personally most people living in modern society are not ready for a psychedelic experience on their own on their own that is right they would need the proper set proper setting proper supervision because all of us our egos are way too inflated way too inflated right wherever we live in the world our egos are way too inflated so we think that the bigger the ego the more the illusion of separation is bigger right uh, the less of Compassion, empathy, love you have for others because you think you're separate from everything and everyone, right? 
And as a society, as a, as, as a global society, all of us, our egos are way too inflated. And when people get bad trips on psychedelic substances, it's because they're, they're not ready yet. Their egos are way too inflated. Their perception, their current perception of reality completely dissolves, completely shatters on them and they can't handle it. And sometimes people, that's what called a bad trip. You try it once, you get a really bad trip, you get paranoid, anxious, never try it again, never touch it. Well, because you probably weren't in the right set, not in the right setting, not with the right intent and not under the right supervision or a, a sitter, right? Somebody who's experienced with this stuff. So it's very important to emphasize reducing self-harm, right? Doing this with proper intent, proper set, proper setting. Um, but what I, what I really think, why I think psychedelics are illegal and made to be such a social stigma, meanwhile, alcohol is like the official drug, you know, you, in your, if you're in North America, you're kind of raised on the idea of getting drunk every weekend, right? Of working, 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 and going to corporate world and working, and really, when you're working for a co corporation, you're not even thinking about what's happening, but a lot of times these corporations you're working for are raping and destroying the earth, which is you. They're destroying themselves and you because we're all one. And why I really think these psychedelic substances are illegal and made to be such a terrible thing is because they will wake you up under the proper set and setting and supervision and intention. They will wake you up to this reality. You will still realize, holy shit, we're all one, we're all the same, we're all brothers and sisters and we gotta love one another and be kind to each other, right? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's psychedelics, that's, it's just like anything else, it can be abused, just like uh, exercise, you know, exercise is super healthy, but if you go every day and you fucking exercise for five hours every day, at some point your body is just going to start shutting down on you, even though you're doing a healthy thing, right? Just like anything else, psychedelics can be abused, if you go to a really like negative place and you do psychedelics, I don't care how developed you are as a person, you're probably gonna have a bad trip. Uh, and that's the way it is, right? It's just like anything else, it can be abused, but the potential that the psychedelics hold for the world is enormous, it is immense. Uh, if we can all start to integrate psychedelics into our lives in a way that is supervised in a way that is um, proper set, proper setting, a lot of re reducing self-harm and we're just doing it in the proper way that it was done in native cultures, in ancient tribes where you, you, would have, you would go through a psychedelic initiation in nature with your tribe, you know, uh, then yeah, like you, we can, oh my God, we can do so much. We can just exponentially accelerate our evolution as a species and our evolution as a species at this point is first of all to be kind and loving towards one another and to realize that we're by raping the earth and destroying its and, and taking its resources we're being uh, we're raping ourselves we're destroying ourselves and that everything is alive like you know if you've done psychedelics you know everything is alive everything is alive everything has a spirit you know um so that's i think you know, again, part of the mission of this channel is to spread love. And part of our, the mission of this channel is to spread love and awareness and positive energy and good vibes and help others. And because that's what this channel is for, I'm going to have to be talking about psychedelics because for me personally, they have helped me tremendously, tremendously in ways I cannot even begin to, I can't even begin, you know, I, I, I am so grateful that I have stumbled upon psychedelics and I have used them properly and continue to use them properly. Um, I'm really, really glad, really happy because it's helping me be more kind and loving towards my fellow brothers and sisters. And it's making me see my true nature as a spiritual being having a human experience. Uh, and it's making me realize that we're all one and we're all together part of this one animating energy and we gotta be kind to each other, we gotta be kind to all living beings, plants, animals, everything that lives, humans, everything that has a spirit, it's you, it's part of you, okay? So th that's what I have to say right now about psychedelics. If you guys want to see more psychedelic videos, um, like I would love to absolutely, and I will, 
talk more about like proper set proper setting my experiences and stuff like that I've already talked before but I, and this is sort of a renewal uh, because this channel like I said is gonna become my main thing now uh, yeah just let me know what you want me to talk about anything you guys want me to talk about uh, I'll definitely be doing trip reports stuff like that uh, but let's all together you know try to raise awareness about the use of psychedelics and how we can make it a positive thing right and 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 use it in a positive way and not abuse it okay and not abuse it you know if you're doing psychedelics recreationally you're not getting first of all you're not respecting it second of all you're not really getting the best out of it i mean there's so much you can so much you can learn from it anyway enough rambling for now if you want to support the wolf back uh, financially check us out on patreon i'll leave links for the description in the comments the more financial support we can have guys the more we can do the uh, period the more as a wolf pack we can do the more events seminars stuff like that we can throw right i have a big vision for this channel and i'm going to keep going after it because really you guys already know one family one love one heart we're all the same i'm you you're me we're all connected togetherness oneness unity love that's what it's all about we're all part of the same animating force the animating energy and by helping others we help by helping me you help yourself by me helping you you help yourself it's the same we're not different okay we're not different we're the same uh that's it i love you guys every single one of you but as always don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna see the fishes